back to Dragon Age Inquisition. The last time we left off with the Temple of Pride, I believe. Um, you're wondering why I'm up here. It's because uh, I didn't realise, but last time there were like two skulls on the map that I thought I'd already looked through. Turns out I hadn't, so I looked through them and I found out where the last few um, shards are. So we'll do that at some point. But our mission is in the Western Approach, I believe up here so let's fast travel over here probably shouldn't have done that but i wanted to let you know that i'd used those two skulls and now i know where the last few shards are so at some point we'll collect those shards and try and unlock one of those doors in that temple well the temple of pride yeah we did do that last time then Oh, yeah, we did, right. It says there on my sheet. If you're wondering what sheet, I tend to write down the name of the episode. That way it's easier to edit, because then I can just see what I've already called it. Uh, the loading times of the PS4. Well, they're a lot better than the PS3. Inquisitor. No? Oh, it's you that wants to talk to me. Nothing to report, sir. Why did you say the Inquisitor then, you tit? Huh? Right, let's replenish everyone's shit. And Solus. Okay, everyone's got their shit. Uh, right. Let's. Why is there two things? Wrong button. Um, no. Why is it marked another one? Oh, because there is another one. Symbols out in the desert, they appear to lead somewhere. Okay, gotcha. Right, let's go and check out this one first. Was there a run button? I can't remember. It's been about a week since I recorded. I've only been able to do like one day of recording for Dragon Age and one day recording for Days Gone recent like in one in in a week recently. <laughs> oh shit, I can't go down there. Is there a way of getting down there? See if I can go around this way. Which looks a bit safer. Um, but yeah, I've only been able to do like two days of recording a week for the last three weeks and it's beginning to drive me up the wall. I want to be able to record every day, just, well, maybe not every day because some days I just really can't be asked, but I'd like to be able to record most days because I'm really enjoying Days Gone and Dragon Age. And when I can't play either of them, it drives me up the wall. I mean, I probably could record every day, but I'd only be able to record like one or two episodes, which I don't like doing. I like recording like a block of episodes. Goodbye. Like three or more episodes at a time. I don't know if it's just me, but I just prefer doing it that way. Then I can edit them, upload them, and think about St. Kells for a minute. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, that's not what we want. Oh, okay, unlock operation. We can't cross this. Someone at Skyhold will have a solution. Yes, yes, they will. Maybe we need to make something out of these guys' skin. They seem to be able to walk through it. What the fuck was that? What's that one of Cassandra's new moves? That I haven't really paid any attention to. Why did that? That was awesome, but I'm not entirely sure why that slowed down. Why 
well, you can never have too much cool back hell or whatever we get from these guys. Uh, or Phoenix feathers. Whatever they're useful. Oh, leather. That was it. And Phoenix scale. I thought we got Phoenix feathers. Can we talk to these guys somehow? There's some more loot there. Oh, fuck off. It's really confusing, these hyenas, because from a distance they kind of look like wolves. What level am I now? Twelve. Right, this is not how I wanted to start this. Right, let's head to... Should we head over to the other one quickly, and then we'll head back to... Just in case there's another thing where we have to... Um... You go to Skyhold, so we don't have to go to Skyhold twice. Okay, that one loaded a lot quicker. Um, wow. Good job, PlayStation. Yeah, well, I didn't expect there to be anything to report, considering I only just talked to you or one of your relatives. I mean, do you know what? That lady is a bit like um, Nurse Joy from... <clears throat> and Officer Jenny from Pokemon. With the whole... They look identical, they sound identical. Maybe they are relatives. Just a family of like... I don't, I don't know what's after... Um, octuplets. There's, that's eight babies that are identical. Or eight babies that are born at the same time, even if they aren't identical. Okay, this one we just have to look at this. The end must be nearby. Okay, well, that one's over here. Oh shit, no, we're not fighting that fucker. We are not high enough level for this bitch. We found that out a couple episodes ago. Damn, he's loud. An impressive creature. There is a purity in such undiluted power. What is this? I guess we're going in there. Quest completed. Is it? Uh, Western approach. I guess. It is completed. Well, we might as well check it out down here. I'm not entirely sure what those guys are doing. The Inquisition signs up here. We've got a book. Creation of a phylactery. We let the boy rest. The first night they brought him to the White Spire, I convinced Commander Knight Belrose to delay the ritual till the morning. The morning was long, and the lad could barely keep his eyes open, poor thing. I was certain escape was the furthest thing from his mind. Medine found him a clean cot in with, in with the other young apprentices, and when I came in with his supper he was already fast asleep. In the morning, I showed Medine how the file was to be prepared. First, a simple charm to preserve and protect with glass. Then a spell that would keep the blood from forming dark clots. The last step could only be completed with the apprentice present. I sent a young Templar recruit off with the message that we were ready. The boy was escorted to the, my, uh, to the chamber by Belrose himself. I could tell he had just been awakened. There was a smear of dirt on him from his face, perhaps from the road. I called the boy to me and cleaned his cheek with my sleeve. As I explained the ritual, we have to take your blood, I said, because you're special and we don't want you to be lost. If it happens, the blood will allow us to find you and bring you home again. I let Medine take the lan lancet? Blanket? I don't know. This time. 
Uh, the tremor in my hand was worse that day, and I didn't want to make too deep a cut. I held the boy close, and Medine made a small, neat incision on his palm, exactly as instructed. I felt the boy struggle and start to cry. He tried to pull away, but Medine gripped his hand firmly, letting the blood run into the file. Um, or vile, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, then Medine cast the spell, just like we practiced. Within the file, uh, the blood churned and grew bright in the presence of the mate, mate whom it was bound. It was done. Another phylactery. Another link forged. He was leashed to the white spire. The boy could not look away from the glow. He was enthralled, and the pain and the tears were forgotten. See, this is magic, I said to him. When you are older, I will teach you. Belrose let the boy hold his phylactery for several minutes before he locked it away in the chamber. Nice! Ooh! Got another mosaic piece. Uh, we so far cannot confirm the... Ha I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it... A silent P? Haramund? Or Faramund? Uh, has had any luck attracting spirits at all. It may not be possible for spirits in the Fae to even see someone who has so long been tranquil. He wishes to continue the experiments. We will stay and observe until he is ready to leave. Ah, oh, I remember the tranquil from the uh, other two games. That must be fucking horrible being put like that. Okay, I guess there's nothing else down here we can take. Bit of a pointless effort, but whatever. <coughs> right, let's go Sky Old, sort out that bridge, and see what happens. Right. Quest map, local map, um, skyhold. <coughs> Why is it still so hot? Will the sun just fuck off? It's been like three weeks. Can't deal with this heat. The blight has ra raged the lands for months. The armies of the great king amassed for one last stand as the sun burst through the clouds. <coughs> uh, this fucking pollen isn't helping me either. Throat's still filling itself with phlegmed. Stop any problems with my asthma. Unfortunately, pollen seems to affect... Well, I get hay fever, but pollen also seems to affect my asthma. And because of that, it fucking makes it as if I'm having a... Like my uh, throat's swelling up, even though it's not. Right, let's go to the war table, see if we can get that done. Hello, people. Why is this work still not done? Jesus, you've been in here for a while. Do we need to talk to this lady? Another letter for And what else did Lady Christina say? Let's rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have her attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Porcythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Um, her threat makes no sense, or a dangerous one. Can I help? Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Porcythia simply employs a... Colourful manner of speech. Uh, hope it doesn't wear on you. That's putting it mildly. Are you excusing her? 
I hope it doesn't wear on you. Dealing with so many demanding, strong-willed people <coughs> can't be easy. It's no less intense than my days at court, Inquisitor, I assure you. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antifa. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. Oh, you can discuss them with me. I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? Uh, a bit more than that. Two and a half hours, I think, but no one's counting. <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. She needed a break. You've been working continually since I met you, Josephine. And that can't stop. I must be going. But... I leave feeling less troubled than I have in weeks. You're welcome. Right, how do I get down from here? Oh, okay, maybe not. Uh, actually, yeah, I think this is my bedroom. They've certainly spared no expense. Well, I wouldn't expect them to. I mean, it's not like they've done anything out here, the fucking lazy bastards. Right, let's get back to the war table, shall we? Okay then. Summon the war council. Right, people, I've got a problem. I need you to fix it. Oh, my report's ready. Sweet. A shipment of resources has returned from the Gamorden Peaks. Or Gamorden. Inquisitor and has been routed to Skyhawk. We got six Paragons luster. Um, where's what we want to do? Crossing the sulfur pits. Maybe this is the one. We have completed initial estimates on the construction of an elevated bridge over the toxic sulfur pits in the western approach. That work will require ten of our engineers and six wagon loads of lumber. But the finished construction will allow troops to move through the region at a safe distance from the poisonous gas. Five power. Hmm, a few words to the committee of Val Fermin, and we can have a bridge built. Or, on your order, we will build a path, our soldiers will personally see to the construction. That seems safer. Inquisitor, reports from Griffin Wing Outpost say that construction of a safe path through the western approach's larger sulfur pit is complete. Our soldiers complete the bridge without incident and it has opened routes to previously inaccessible areas of the approach. You can inspect the results the next time you travel to the region. Nice! Venture 4. Cassandra, Barak and Solas confirm. Well that's a nice notification that my phone just gave me. A lost and dead phone. Well, if my phone was lost and dead, I wouldn't have received that notification. Bit of a weird thing to tell me. Oh, 
Oh. Come on, PlayStation. You can do it. I believe in you. And load. And load. And load. <laughs> yeah? Hello? I think we're about to get attacked. Right. What is that making that noise? And where is it? Oh, there it is. I got an idea. Die, you little bitch. Holy cow. That's Solus's... One of Solus's moves. Okay, they didn't just build the bridge. They got rid of the whole damn poisonous gas area. Hey, soldier dude. Come on, uh, lad and lass. Lads and lass. Let's fucking head this way and find out what the fuck's going on. Is there anything to do with it this way? What am I doing? I might as well just check them. The here. Western approach. Okay, we only have the dragon and that left to do. Unless we check the map. And then we've got a question mark over here. Completed operation. Well, we might as well travel down there and find out what's going on. I like these little uh, watchtowers that they've been building. And whoever built this was clearly drunk. It's all over the fucking gaff. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything here to do. What is this? Shards. Um, I reckon we leave this area for now and we move on to a different area. Inquisitor's Path from the Ashes. Speak with Varric on the battlements. Okay. We could do that. Obviously, we've got to travel back to Skyhold now. Again. Which we didn't want to do, but there's not a lot can be done. Well, at least we've got the bridge built. We can cross that now when we need to. We'll head back there at some point and see if we can do some of those random mission bits. Uh, a giant. 938 Dragon. Fourth Harvest Mere. Continue musing on giants. I assume they approached you to... to oh. Okay. Ark just did an update. I'm not sure what for, but... It's up to version 1.95 now. I really don't understand why it doesn't just leave that thing up to read until it's actually ready to load in. Which would make... More sense fucking thing. Right. Um, how do we get over there? Okay, we need to go out of a door on this side. This one, maybe? Whatever was here. Alright, where's Varric? Oh, he's over here. Oh, he's over there. Alright, we've got to run right around the castle then. Jesus, could he not choose a closer location? Or did I just take the awkward way around? I guess I took the awkward way around. Oh no, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Hey, Varric. Oh, we're meeting that dude. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. 
This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. I know how that feels. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thedas. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor. But I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it reversible? If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he I was worried about name. corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. What were you investigating? If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. We've encountered red lyrium. Corypheus was using it to corrupt the Templars and turn them into his slaves. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. It's worth a shot. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Investigate. You fought Corypheus. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. Where have you been? Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. Okay. <coughs> what happened in Kirkwall? Varric said you were the champion of Kirkwall. I've only heard a little about what happened there. What happened at Kirkwall was the same thing that happened everywhere. Fearful of blood magic and abominations, the Templars brutally suppressed the circle. And in their desperation to survive, the mages of the circle turned to blood magic, or became abominations. Finally, a rebel mage named Anders destroyed Kirkwall's Chantry, and everything came tumbling down. You knew Anders? I heard that Anders was your friend. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. <coughs> Sounds familiar. Uh, why are you alone? I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my brother out of the free marches. My uncle Gamlin's still in Kirkwall. But everyone else I used to know? They're pretty much scattered to the winds. What has Varric told you? I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. Oh. Well, good to know. Thank you. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Good idea. Um, here lies the abyss. Why have I got to go to the war table? 
Thrak has a friend named Hawk, who fought Corpheus once before, and now fears Grey Wardens are under the influence of the ancient Darkspawn. Hawk has a Warden contact who may be able to say more. Okay then, so we will do that next time. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've run out of time. So thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. And if you don't, as per usual. And I will see you next time for Here Lies the Abyss. Adios. <laughs>